Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how to sort a list using Python. There are many different sorting algorithms in Python. However, the most popular one, or arguably the most popular one, is the bubble sort, which I'll be showing you today. What I'll do is I will explain briefly how it works, and then what I'll do is I'll run through the code with you line by line so that you understand it. And then afterwards, what I've found online is sort of a, a graphical representation of what it does. So I'll show you that as well. So let's get started. So how does the bubble sort work? Well, what happens is it basically has multiple passes, it performs multiple passes within a list of numbers in this case, and it will basically compare each number with the number next to it. And if it's greater than the number next to it, it will stop. And if it's less than the number next to it, then it will move along one place in the list and then compare itself to the next number next to it. And so having that logic in place, you can then use that recursively, or in other words, over and over again, and apply that logic so that when this whole sort of loop finishes, you will end up with the smallest number at the start and the biggest number at the end of the list. So what this essentially is, is a loop within a loop. Cool. So let's now go through a, an example here. So what you'll find, if you look online for bubble sort, you'll find that there are many different sort of variations of the same way of doing things. And that's typical of what you get in Python in general. And this is just one of the examples I found online. But essentially, they will all do the same thing. It's just different ways of coding the same thing. So what I've done here is I've created a random number list. And what I've got here is literally random numbers that I've just thought about randomly between one and 99. And it's a very small list, but it's good to learn things when you start on a small scale. And I've given that the variable name random number list. And so what you have here is just a random number list we're gonna sort out between, and have we have the lowest number at the le on the first position and then the highest number at the final position of the list. Cool, right. So the real magic happens in this function here. So what I've done here, the first line, don't really need to worry about so much, is I've created the function with def, given it a name, and I've passed through the um, variable here, random number list. The next line below is where the magic starts to happen. So what we need to do is we need to be able to scan through this list regardless of the length of the list. So we need to basically get the whole length of the list and start from position zero. And that's exactly what we've got here. We've, by typing in for pass num in range and then using the len command, we can then make it so that we have a loop which will start at the far, first position and then it will loop through to whatever the length of the list is um, in um, intervals of one so it just goes to the next one every time in single steps and so that's exactly what this line does so this whole loop will exit when we've reached the end of the list and so what we need to do now is we need to pass another loop within that loop that will select each value and compare it to the value next to it to perform our sort. So what we've, that's exactly what we've done here. We've got another loop here that says for i in range pass num, um, that will select each value here and move along one every time. If the random number list here, i, this i selection, or whatever selection we have got, is greater than the number of section that's next to it, so i plus one in this case, um, because i is the value that we're looking at, then what will happen is this loop will run. If it's not greater than 
the number if it's smaller than the number then it will stay there and we'll move on to the next value in the list and we'll exit from this loop here into this loop which will move on to the next value and then we'll run back into this loop here so it's very recursive in this manner cool so if the value of i here or whatever value it is is bigger than the value next to it then this loop within a loop will run and actually this print below is actually a print check so what will happen then if this value is bigger so what will happen is uh, we will create a sort of temporary variable here which is our value of i and so now what we can do is we with this temporary variable here we're able to um, update and move the values around using the few lines below so that we can actually start the sorting process itself so what will happen there is the new value of i will be the value next to it if the value is greater so this 45 will essentially um, swap with this value here of 30 let's make that a bit better so this value 45 here will swap with this value of 30 and then this 45 will be um, we'll have this loop continue running which will then have this value compared to the value next to it and so this value here 45 is actually not greater than the value next to it which is 728 and so what will happen is we'll have this loop exit and we'll move on to the next value within the loop and that is exactly what will happen with each and every one of these values so let's go back to our original list with 45 at the start and we can actually what we can do is we can print out if I put a print function here we can print out um, every step in this sub loop so and actually every step that will happen in this entire function so let's do that cool so let's run it and see what happens so here we have our steps below in the output so let's just take a look at the first step in fact let's clear the whole screen because I've been running some other code as well and then let's go to the top here so here we have starting off we have our first step so notice that it's already changed that's our original list here and in the first step we were comparing 45 against 30 and we noticed that the 45 is greater than the 30 and so they swapped around and then we moved on to the next value in this list which is then comparing the 45 to the 78 and the 78 is bigger and so that is the signal to exit from this loop and to then move do the second iteration in this outer loop here and we moved on to compare the next value which in this case is the 78 with the 29 here and we found that the 78 is bigger than the 29 so it moved forward one and then we also found that 78 is bigger than the 4 which was next to it and so we moved along one again but this time we found so this time we we're comparing the 78 to the 95 and the 95 is bigger and so again we exited this loop um, we moved on to the next value of i and then we continued on with our comparisons and so that's how our bubble sorting works so what we can do at the end is we can get rid of this print function here we can then go right to the end after we call our function and just print out the final result just so you can prove that it works and here we have our complete sort and notice that the smallest number was at the zero position and the largest number is at the final position of our list regardless of what length it is so that is the bubble sorting having sorted all these values here and put them from smallest to largest cool i did say i'm going to show you how to how how it's done more visually and so what i've done is i've found this really great website here and it's really big and what we can do is we can just 
initialize. This is, a diff this is using a different set of numbers, just to let you know. But what we can do is we can run this bubble sort and you can see visually what's happening here. So this is exactly what I've been showing you with the sort of numbers, uh, but this is more of a visual format. So we, we're getting the list of numbers and we're just comparing it along. When we've found its position, then we, then we can sort of move on to the next number. And this is exactly how it works. So it just sorts every single value with the smallest at the start and the biggest at the end. So that's it for bubble sorting. I hope you've understand now more about sort of more the basic algorithms and the standard algorithms there are in Python. If you liked the video, please do check out my other videos. This was more of an explanation one, but I do have more like working from scratch of Python codes. And there are also others on more GUI on creating proper sort of software developments. Um, but this is a really cool piece of uh, code, very small, very powerful. And I'll put this piece of code in the um, comment below because that way you can just copy and paste it into whatever project you need um, if you need to sort out some some numbers in this case. So thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.